If you're deciding to purchase new switches for your environment, you probably have a choice between unmanaged switches and managed switches. An unmanaged switch generally has very few configuration options. You simply plug all of your devices into it, and they can all communicate to each other. It is very plug and play in that regard. It has a fixed configuration. You can't generally configure different VLANs on something like an unmanaged switch. There's also very little integration with other devices. You cannot communicate to this particular switch using external means or different management protocols. But in the end, it has a very low price point. Because you don't have some of these more advanced features, the unmanaged switch tends to cost a little bit less than something like a managed switch. A managed switch is much more intelligent. You have the ability to configure VLANs, for instance, within the switch. It supports those 802.1Q VLAN protocols so that you could have many different subnets on this switch all segmented out into separate VLANs. Many managed switches also provide things like traffic prioritization so that if you're plugging in voice over IP devices, they might get a higher priority than simply workstations that are surfing the internet. You can also configure redundancy within a number of these managed switches because they'll generally support the spanning tree protocol, or STP, that allows you to build out multiple managed switches and have them all interconnected so that you can have redundancy should any particular switch fail. There's also usually options to have additional management of those devices using things like SNMP, which stands for Simple Network Management Protocol. So you might have a management station that's able to remotely manage that switch because it is a managed switch. And lastly, there are capabilities within a number of these managed switches to configure port mirroring so that I can plug an analyzer into any one of the ports on the switch and have traffic mirrored to the analyzer. This means that we're able to simply connect in invisibly and be able to monitor traffic and troubleshoot the network packets using something like Wireshark. It's these primary differences that add up to a little bit more money that you're spending, but you're obviously getting a lot more capabilities in a managed switch.